Wow guys, I figured I needed to start recording. All I did was put Heather and Tucci Giraffe into uh, the DuckDuckGo search engine and I'm looking at this return here that's uh, highlighted with the shading now. Uh, for whatever reason, uh, there's some issues on my computer. My mouse isn't showing up on the recordings. I can't get OBS Studio to even open, so it's uh, uh, I'm just going with bare bones minimum right now uh, so I can keep operating <laughs> in real time. But uh, this looked interesting. Heather Ann Tucci, an 18-year-old motorist, motorist accused of swigging vodka just before a crash in August that killed two of her friends. I haven't seen this before and, and, and I've been searching a bunch of stuff. Uh, Heather Antucci, it doesn't say giraffe, but uh, let's click on this and see where it takes us. Uh, MySpace confession titled Heather Antucci Purportedly on November 2nd, 2006. This is just something really strange to find. Trent Reynolds report crime. Heather Ann Tucci. A good man does something. The Trench Reynolds Report. Truth, Justice, Freedom. Has anybody heard of Trench Reynolds? Anybody have a feeling on this website? Uh, this is the first time I'm coming across it. Uh, hmm. Well, let's read what they got here. Heather Ann Tucci, an 18-year-old motorist accused of swigging vodka just before a crash in August that killed two of her friends, refused to talk with investigators about what happened. So would that be August of 2006 then? But apparently she... But she apparently opened up on MySpace, admitting the crash was, quote, my fault and taking full responsibility for the deaths. Now authorities are aiming to use those words against her. Investigators have obtained a search warrant to get records from MySpace to confirm that Tucci authored the posting. Tucci is charged with two counts of criminal vehicular homicide in the August 19th wreck in White Bear Township. The one-car crash killed passenger Joseph Murray Renner, 19, and Joseph E. Schaefer, 19. Okay, August 19th, 2006. Uh... I think people people need to look into this so far. Uh, what's going on and why is this popping up in a search return now? God, I don't have video of, of my when I've been popping in just searching around and and doing research on Heather Ann Tucci Giraffe, but uh, I, I feel like I would have seen that. I mean this this showed up. Let me pop this showed up on the first page of just Heather Ann Tucci Giraffe. I don't remember seeing this. Did, has anybody else seen this? Is this old news? I haven't heard anybody reporting about this on, on anything. Any channels, you know, whether it be the web or YouTube or wherever. What? Wow, all right, let's go back to that page. Why is this popping up? Why didn't we see this before? If it's purportedly from no November 2nd, 2006?
Tucci was also charged with criminal vehicular operation in connection with injuries, her best friend, Samantha Eileen Zeibel, 18, suffered. Well, there's a lot of names here to, uh, to follow up if need be. This is strange. According to a criminal complaint, Tucci was drinking from a bottle of vodka while driving south on Everton Avenue at about 11.30 p.m. Authorities said she failed to make a sharp left turn onto 120th Street on the east side of Bald Eagle Lake and struck a tree. Tucci was found to have a blood alcohol level of 0.12% according to the complaint. The legal limit is 0.08 percent. Marijuana also was found in the car according to Ramsey County Sheriff's investigator. MySpace is a popular social networking website has a page with Tucci's full name, date of birth, and picture. Her profile includes the headline R.I.P. Renner and Schaefer, I love you. A posting on that site states, I just want to let everyone know August 19th, 2006, Joe Renner and Joe Schaefer died and me and Samantha were hurt. I'm sure a lot of you really don't give uh, expletive about me. Fine, whatever you have your reasons. I don't blame you, but really think about it. Both of them knew what they were getting into. Yes, it's my fault because I was the driver, but think about how many of you did what I did. Now, don't get me wrong, I take full responsibility for everything that happened. I never meant, so, so two mistakes that were copied verbatim, to do this. Like I said, please learn from what I did. Thanks to the article, we have Heather Tucci's MySpace site. Okay. Well, let me do some math here, first of all. <clears throat> so an 18-year-old motorist and we're in 2006, this happened August 19th of 2006. Yeah, that's uh, that's not Heather Ann. That's not Heather Ann Tucci Giraffe. This. This Heather Antucci is she's too young, way too young. Wow. Okay, well, let's see, 18, and we'll take uh, the 6 off of it. So that leaves 12 left, so we come back uh, Yeah. Yeah, that's uh that's not Heather Antucci giraffe. Why is this popping up? This is so strange. All right. Well, jeez, while we're here, let's take a look and see. Hmm. 
Okay, well, I don't have a MySpace account, so maybe somebody else can make a video about that. Uh, apparently there are pictures there, and that would be an easy way to verify uh, whether or not this is uh, our Heather Antucci. Wow, this is so weird. Related. Heather Ann Tucci pleads guilty. Teen who admitted to crash on MySpace. Guilty plea. Heather Ann Tucci who basically confessed to a vehicular homicide on her MySpace. Wow. Oh, wow. Why all these... I mean, I wonder if we're looking at a PSYOP here, guys. Uh, is, this, is this known information already? Does it... I don't know. Somebody send me an email if they've if they've come across this info before, and uh, and maybe give me some give me some things that I can look at and dig into uh, to. I mean, that's just no accident, you know. It just doesn't have a hyphenated last name. Gosh, can't be her though. There's no way it can be Heather Ann Tucci Giraffe. Well, what happens when I click on that? Well, uh, you know, wow, I got some interesting thoughts. Okay, this is the DC transcript. This is the identity hearing. Um, I guess we're, we're pretty deep into that, but... Uh, The whole point of this identity hearing was to establish Heather Ann Tucci's identity. And holy cow, is there another Heather Ann Tucci out there? Like, all that's missing is the hyphenated giraffe part and and you can easily see how somebody would say, okay, this just happened before she got married. Uh, I mean, I have never heard of the name Tucci before this case ever. And to think that there are multiple Heather Ann Tucci's out there, um... I mean, if this is true, then she's got a criminal record. It would have shown up in that NCIC paperwork or report that, uh, oh, let's see. I forget which page we were on with that, but maybe, maybe we'll go to 38 and see. Uh, Yeah, how, how can he, he'd never seen her before. I, I, I've read through all of this, so, uh, so I have, uh, 
I've got some knowledge that we haven't gotten to and covered if, if you're only following along with me in these videos. And this particular Parker Steel uh, saw Heather Ann Tucci Giraffe in person for the very first time at this identity hearing. He had never seen her before. All he had seen was some videos uh, that were online. So he had seen some visual likenesses of Heather Ann Tucci Giraffe, but he had not seen her. He doesn't know how old those videos were. Well, she's talking to, to Randy, so he's going to think they're pretty recent. But really, we don't know anything about those videos, really. We need you know, you'd have to rely on them. You'd have to you'd have to have a video expert ready to to pick those apart. <clears throat> but how can he possibly? You know, he's talking about this NCIC report, and I mean, a good question for Bose to have asked was, did you? find any other Heather Ann Tucci giraffes out there because apparently there's another Heather Ann Tucci out there gosh what a strange observation this is just turning into a fucking rabbit hole guys And apparently this Heather Ann Tucci was arrested, tried, pled guilty, and she was going to be sentenced in March of, what, 2008, and was looking at a minimum of eight years. So let's see, 2008 plus eight is 2016? Yeah. So, oh, that says a minimum, so... Who knows? And and who knows if she got released for uh, whatever reason they're going to release people early for. Uh, gosh, the system just doesn't make sense on who they hold on to and, and who they release uh, when you think about the greatest good. Um, so at a bare minimum, we can prove that there are other Heather Ann Tucci's out there uh, that are the system is apparently aware of and and should definitely have the uh, NCIC information on and if she only got the minimum she'd be out so how how can this Parker Steel guy How can he be sure of the identity? I mean, with all the rest that that we've discovered along this way, with just solid observations that everybody can see for themselves, I'm really not speculating. I'm I'm saying, hey, this is this is what it is. Like uh, well, let me ask you to do send me an email either way does do, do you rely or do you trust Parker Steele's ability to identify Heather Ann Tucci giraffe? I mean, even if you trust that, do you trust that these court proceedings here, have done their due diligence to truly identify Heather Ann Tucci. Heather Ann Tucci giraffe now. I guess I gotta always say the giraffe part now. I mean, I would expect there had it should have been some conversation about uh, Heather Ann Tucci, this one. I mean, that, that would only help them. That would only help Parker Steele's testimony, really. 
to say, oh, well, we came across this other one, and, and you know. But there's no mention of, of, of any of that. Gosh. And I don't remember seeing this in the search returns. And I've been on this for long enough to have seen it. And that's showing up on the first page. So this is... This is just strangeness right now. I think this is uh, this is part of a psyop or gosh, I mean DuckDuckGo. They're supposed to be the the good search engine. Why is this popping up so high on their search engine? And who's TrenchReynolds.com? What? Does anybody know anything about them? I've never heard of them before. Hmm. All right. Well, that's all for now. You can send me an email at lunacy at protonmail.com. Comments are not reliable to communicate with me. As evidenced, I've already got emails. And uh, I don't want to say who they're from, but they are very supportive. And thank you. Makes me wonder if that's the the comment that was uh, kept for me. I don't know. I don't know that I'll ever know, but uh, uh, we'll talk later.